So what I was doing before Jai is I was training and certifying coaches in NLP, neuro-linguistic programming, hypnotherapy, emotional freedom techniques, and time techniques, as well as life and success coaching. And I was also supporting them in growing their businesses. So it was a bit of a hybrid of online marketing strategy coaching, and then always also coaching and certifying um, coaches and aspiring coaches. What brought me to Jai was my own motherhood journey and um, waking up, as I call it, to motherhood. I had a almost two-year-old and he started having his own personality, his own wants, his own needs, his own temper tantrums and emotions. And I always swore I was going to do it differently than my parents, especially knowing the impact of programming in our early years. But suddenly when it was, I was invited to step up to the plate to do it differently, I didn't know how to do it differently. And so I actually started researching this work for myself, but then I fell in love with it and I did a full pivot. <laughs> I think for me, it allowed me to kind of connect the dots between what I knew about our formative years and the impact of our programming. And then, the, you know, like I said, like the how. So understanding the how allowed me to understand the impact on an even deeper level. For example, I found attachment theory so, so, so fascinating. And that was one thing I've heard of, but hadn't really learned more about prior to Jai. And so when I learned that, it was easy for me to be like, oh, so that's why I am the way I am. And then I even brought that into my work by noticing um, how it goes beyond our emotional relationships with our primary caregivers. It's really about our relationship with anyone and anything in the world. So when I'm working with at that point in time, actually I still do work with a lot of entrepreneurs, um, we're very success driven, we're very money oriented. And so I noticed that our relationship with money can be directly linked to our our attachment. For example, if you have an avoided attachment, chances are you're also avoiding your finances. And so having those types of conversations with my mm. clients was really, really fun and like different than what anyone else was doing in the online space at that time. I kicked off my first project I did since graduating was uh, the 12 week transformational parenting program exactly as it was provided to us for. And that was a fantastic foundation to get started. Um, I did a group program through that way and it received a lot of great feedback. And then I was still not fully stepping into my role and power as a parent coach in that time. I was still kind of like flip flopping between business coaching and what parent coaching and what I'm fully doing now. And so Eventually, I couldn't ignore the call anymore. I was like, okay, I got to jump in full, which was this January of this year. And that's when I created House of Joy. So House of Joy is a online membership and community app where you get to log in either through your desktop or your mobile phone um, and give yourself 20 minutes a day to reprogram your subconscious mind for success as a parent and an ambitious and empowered mama. So my whole mission and vision is that you can have both. You can have the success, the successful business, the personal goals or hobbies that you desire to have, and you can have the thriving, happy, healthy home life. It doesn't have to come at an expense of both, which for me, that's where I was starting to see myself in my own business prior to pivoting was I was running this very successful business, but my family life was a mess. Or if I stepped away from my business and my family life was doing good because I was applying the tools and techniques from Jai, my business was starting to suffer. So I really took a step back, recovered from burnout, figured out how can I have both. A big chunk of that was the tools and practices of Jai. And then um, sharing that with other parents and mamas for just 20 minutes a day. I think sharing your own experiences and your story and how the work that you're doing has impacted you is the most easiest, authentic way. The one of the things I used to always say, which funny enough, I haven't said this in a long time, is that your authenticity is your biggest marketing tool. So like mm -hmm. just show them as yourself, share your story and your message and the right people will gravitate towards you. Um, with that being said, then my next step would be to follow your intuition. There's a lot of different ways you can make money. There's a lot of different ways you can build a business. 
And there's only one right, right way for you in this current season of your life and business. And so it's really about putting those blinders on and, you know, forgetting what this guru is telling you to do on how to build your business, make a sales webinar funnel and, or do a challenge or do a brick and mortar. Like just what do you want to do? Mm -hmm. And how many hours do you have in a day to dedicate this? And how can you make it happen in as fast, easy as possible for you? Um, and then last but certainly not least, like you said, how do I even get clients? That's where the mindset piece comes in. You have to be, you know, supporting your subconscious in being able to truly believe that you can have what it is that you're currently striving for. Otherwise, mm -hmm. it's just not going to happen. fulfilling um there's i've received so house of joy fully launched like a month ago so it's been the community membership's been open for just about 30 days um a little longer and i've received a few messages from people saying i love the house of joy like i've been doing this hypnosis track with this one and it's really working for me i went through the communication guide and, and i'm loving it and so when i receive those messages i'm like yes I'm on the right track. Yes. Because yeah. I'll be honest, I'm not at the profit level I want to be yet. It's a brand new project yeah. um, compared to what I was doing before. But just knowing when you get that feedback of like something that you created is supporting the people is like, yeah, fulfilling and gratifying. Mm -hmm. um, I think another really cool thing is that we have a few members who aren't even moms yet, but they're pregnant. So that's even more exciting because we talk like we're here to break generational patterns and trauma and really change generations to come. And I'm like, clearly we're doing something right in our messaging and our content because they're coming before they're even moms. And that is so powerful. I know I want this app to be a massive platform that reaches hundreds of thousands of people. I think it'd be really cool to do some retreats or events, community events of something that that's one of my things prior to. I've always loved in-person connection and immersion learning, I call it. Um, so one day, maybe that'll be the case. Yeah. But for now, just reaching as many empowered and ambitious moments as I can with House of Joy. The fact that you're reading this blog or watching this video clip, wherever you're landing on this, it tells me that you are a parent who deeply cares about the health, the happiness and the success of your child, um, or you're wanting to learn more about parenting in a new and much more enlightening, supportive, happy way. Um, so I want you to know that you're doing a good enough job as it is. And that's... Mm -hmm an opportunity for you to look at your own inner work. Like, where is this anxiety? Where is this failing or sense of failure in my personal experience coming from? And just know that the fact that you feel that means you're a good enough parent.